There are sodium and potassium ion channels in the membrane that open only in response to a certain signal. Let's say it's a chemical signal and some sodium channels open. Where does the sodium go? It goes into the cell from high level to low by diffusion, as it is shown by the red arrow. What does it do to the transmembrane potential, or TP? Movement of positive ions inside the cell makes the cytoplasm less negative. It means that the potential becomes less negative too. It goes, let's say, from minus 70 millivolts to minus 60. On the graph, this change is indicated by the small arrow leading up. This is what we call depolarization. The membrane was polarized, but now it is slowly depolarized. Polarization is reversed as the positively charged sodium moves in and the inside becomes less negative than before. Now the horizontal dotted line on the graph marks so-called threshold level. Reaching this TP level is a signal for many more sodium channels to open. What does it mean? Many more sodium channels open and sodium moves into the cell much faster. You can see it as the thick red arrow. The fast movement of positive ions into the cell makes the inside of the cell even more positive and the potential goes all the way from negative to positive numbers as you can see on the graph. Let's say it goes from minus 60 to plus 30. This depolarization is much faster and greater than before. Now the inside is positively charged and the outside is negatively charged. It is a complete reversal of the usual membrane polarization. Remember, it used to be the other way around, negative inside and positive outside. And this reversal is the signal for the sodium channels to close and for the potassium channels to open. When potassium channels open, where does the potassium go? It leaves the cell going from high level to low by diffusion. See the thick green arrow. What does it do to the potential? As the positive ions leave the cell, the inside becomes less positive, which means more negative. As a result, the TP goes back from the positive numbers plus 30 to the negative numbers minus 70, which means that depolarization is completely reversed. This reversal of depolarization from positive to negative numbers is called repolarization. The names make sense. First, polarization, the usual state of the membrane, negative inside. Then, depolarization, a change from negative to positive, and then repolarization, a change from positive back to negative. This change of the TP from negative to positive and back, shown as the spike on the graph, is the action potential. In this last stage, potassium channels are closing slowly. The movement of potassium out of the cell makes the TP even more negative than it used to be as it goes from minus 70 to minus 90. We call this change hyperpolarization. This makes sense as well. Polarization is minus 70, but hyperpolarization is minus 90, more negative than before. Then the sodium-potassium pumps restore the original sodium and potassium concentrations. The TP gets back to the resting level and the new AP can be generated. Let's review. Action potential is the fast change of the TP from negative to positive numbers and back that includes three main events or stages. 1. Depolarization, 2. Repolarization, and 3. Hyperpolarization, in this order. Uh, depolarization is subdivided into 1A, slow depolarization to the threshold level, and 1B, fast depolarization from negative to positive numbers. Depolarization is the result of the sodium ions moving into the cell. The inside is getting more positive. A repolarization and hyperpolarization are produced by potassium moving out of the cell. The inside is getting less positive. All the stages are shown on the graph. Uh, finally, after hyperpolarization, the TP is restored 
to the resting potential level, and this cycle can be repeated. In the next part, we will discuss how the action potential is conducted along the membrane and transferred to other cells.